So then I can tuck this paper clip through the little pocket because I wrapped it loosely and that really holds it in place nicely. So that helps a lot. Okay. So now I have, if I hold it up outside of the cup, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest the pen on top of the cup or on top of this jar. And when I put it in, I want to be really careful to make sure that I don't wash away the pen mark. So the water should only touch the very bottom of the paper. I do not want my paper to wash away the pen. So you see how the pen mark is not in the water. It is not in the water. It doesn't smell at all, it's just water. Okay, and so now what I'm going to start to see is the water is reaching up and it's going to spread out that color. This is called chromatography. Chroma meaning color and graph um like a drawing so this is a color drawing okay so i'm going to set that one down and we'll come back to it i'm going to do the same thing for the other two colors so i have my purple i'm going to loosely wrap my purple up grab my paper clip And now I have this, I'm gonna set it down in my water. And I just need to make sure that the paper touches the water and then it does the rest on its own. And now I have my orange. I'll go ahead and wrap with the orange. I grab my paper clip to hold it in place and stick in another one. Okay, so now let's look at the green. I, okay, so what colors do you, uh, so I mean the, this was the teal. So what colors, can you see multiple colors? in my camera. You can see how it's spread out. Do you see how the dot left the pencil mark? Right? You saw it where it was on the pencil mark, right? So you saw how it was on the pencil mark and now it has moved. And it is at the level of the water. So the process um, of the way that this works, this is caused by the property of water known as adhesion. Adhesion. So adhesion is the tendency of water to stick to other things. So water loves to stick to other things. Depends on the pen you're using, Sterling. Were you using a permanent pen? Okay. 
permanent pens don't work. If it was a permanent marker or Crayola should work. Crayola marker. Did it just wash out? Well, it, it might just take a little bit more time. So some chromatographies take a really long time um, and some go pretty fast. So it just sort of depends. And it also depends on the paper you're using, how thick it is. So there's lots of lots of different pieces um, that might come into play. If you let it sit for a while, it should work. OK, um, so adhesion is that ability of water to stick to other stuff. So water likes to stick to things. It doesn't just fall straight down, you know, like in this case, the water is moving against gravity. And the reason it's moving against gravity is because it wants to fill in all the little air pockets. The reason that coffee filters work pretty well is because they have so um, they have so much air in them. Yeah, sticks to spiderweb. Very, very good connection, Alex. Thank you. So, um, yeah, water likes to stick to lots of stuff. And the reason it forms droplets is because of cohesion. Cohesion, like a community, likes to be together. OK, so I'm going to show you the orange one now because I can see an extra color in the orange. So you tell me, can you see the color? Oh, I'm showing you the wrong side, sorry. <laughs> So I can see an extra color. Can you guys see colors in the orange? Yeah, some yellow. The purple is still going. The purple takes longer. Okay, so I'm going to show you some ones that I did earlier today. And I'm going to see if you can guess what color it was beforehand. First of all, what do you think this one was? I kind of already gave it away because I talked to Sterling about it. So yes, it's black, but what kind of black marker? It was a Sharpie. So this was a Sharpie. I stuck it in the in the water and it doesn't move. So it's a permanent marker. So this is what makes permanent markers special. Permanent markers stay. They hold their color and they don't um, they don't do that. They don't bleed out into different colors. OK, what was this? What color was this dot? It wasn't blue. So you see blue and yellow. What makes blue and yellow? Green, yeah, so this was a green pen. about this one okay. yeah I know your color vine Charles is fine. so there's pink and there's purple this was a purple pen so this will be what ours looked like this will be what ours look like but you see how long it takes actually for it to change color Okay, this one, so this was a blue pen, 
Okay, so question for you. Why is the purple down here and the blue up there? So it was stuck in the water here. Why was the purple down here and the blue up here? What do you think? So colors, it did, it traveled up more. Why did the blue travel up more than the purple? And then why does the pink travel up more than the purple? Colors have different densities. Okay, there's another light blue. This is a different purple. There actually is just a tiny little blue in there, so it's a different purple. This was another, just a regular pen. So this was just one of my regular pens, like this, and it also didn't move. This was a red, far less interesting than I thought it was going to be, actually. This was a lighter green. So you can see there's more yellow. Okay, what do you think this was? Orange, because it's spread out, right? Red and yellow. Okay. This pink, this was um, this one. This magenta color. So I don't know if you can tell, but they're actually, it is like, it's very purple and then pink. So it actually does have two different kind of colors. One color is more purple, one color is more pink. They're very, very similar. And then this was a light purple. The light purple didn't have as much distinction. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what our purple looks like. Purple's a little slower. Can you see? There's our purple going. Okay, I'm gonna show you our orange. The orange looks pretty good. Orange looks pretty. I don't know if you it's feel like there's like a glare. It's kind of getting in the way. One thirty, Charles. Am I boring you that much? Okay, and then the blue. So you can see that little bit of yellow in there. Kind of pretty. Yeah, it moved so much higher. You can see how far it is from the pencil line, right? I know, really moved up there. There is a little bit of yellow underneath the blue here, Charles. If you can, I don't know. Can you see it on this one? The yellow kind of in the middle? Kind of. It's hard to see 
on camera, I think, a little bit harder to see. Okay, so did anybody do this at home and can show us? I would love to see. I forgot to show you guys one. So this was the black. And I know you guys might not be able to see, but blacks are always pretty interesting. Um, so I don't know if you can tell, but there actually is like some, it's very purpley at the edge. So this is what the black looks like. I did do pink. So like I said, this one, it's not a significant difference. It has like what, this pink is like a little bit purpler and this pink is a little bit brighter. And the orange is interesting because of how pink the orange ends up being. Okay, would anyone else like to share that did it at home? And chromatography is super fun. And then you end up with all these, you know, like pretty strips of paper. Um, so you can, and it's just, I mean, it's just water. And these are all dry now. So they're just colorful strips of paper. Um, they're kind of fun to use as bookmarks too. So in your science Google Classroom, there is like a place for you to track kind of what you're thinking for observations and conclusions. So some of the things, you know, obviously you can't really draw as well. You can't add drawings. You know how to add the scribble if you did the Corona Bingo today. Um, but this paper oh whoops not this one no okay so that's what that's where the assignment is and then, then if you're looking here you can kind of mark down like what's happening to the dot you made what's happening to the pencil line. So the pencil line stayed, right? The pencil line stayed, but then the dot moved. And so you guys can write about any of the ones I did, comparing the strip now to the way it was when it began. So this process is called chromatography, where you can see different colors within one color. So you can jot some thoughts onto that um, paper. Frozen water, I don't remember what day I have planned for that, Alexis. I don't know. What's the next?